thank you for your interest in learning how to share your faith. Hi, I'm Shelley Johns, Women's Ministry and Senior Adult Associate at the Kentucky Baptist Convention. Welcome to Heart Call Training, which will primarily focus on the track, Heart Talk. This wonderful, easy, and conversational resource will help you engage others in a spiritual conversation that can lead to the greatest event in life. Heart Talk is the track portion of Heart Call, the four-week evangelistic Bible study designed by Jay Martin, specifically with women in mind. Of course, it's guy-friendly, too. More information about Heart Call, including the Heart Talk track, is available online, and the link will be provided at the end of this video. With four simple words, hope, believe, turn, call, you can share Christ. In addition, you can use the Heart Talk logo to explain each of these words, even on a napkin. This training will be shared as if you and I are having a Heart Talk conversation. With that in mind, let me set the parameters to help you through this training process. First, let's pretend that you, the person with whom I am sharing Christ, have given me permission to share Christ with you. It's important to gain permission from the person with whom you feel led to share Christ. Second, as I discuss each word in Heart Talk, you will see the corresponding symbol of the logo and scripture reference. If you happen to follow along with the Heart Talk track, you will soon discover that I may not repeat word for word. After all, it's merely a guide for the conversation. Next, I encourage you to pray, asking the Holy Spirit to open doors for you to share Christ. Then, practice, practice, practice. Committing as much of the Heart Talk script to memory gives you the freedom to have eye-to-eye -eye contact with the person you are sharing Christ. Then, look for opportunities to share Christ as He makes divine appointments through you. Finally, make sure that you have committed your heart to God. You can only share what you already have in your heart. Here we go. Let's have a heart talk. God has some things He'd like for you to know from His heart. God has great plans for you. Hope in Him. Jeremiah 29 verses 11 through 13 remind us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When you call upon me and come and pray to me, I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. God has great things in store for you. If you look for Him, you will find Him. And when you find Him, you find hope. He loves you, cares for you, and listens to you. You might be asking yourself, why don't I feel like God's listening to me? That's because wrongdoings or sin separate people from God. He's perfect. People are not. Someone had to pay the penalty for your sins. God loves you so much that He sent Jesus to pay for your sins. God loves you, so believe in Him. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. When you believe God sent Jesus to die on the cross for you and accept the forgiveness He offers, He will wipe your sins away. Then the communication with God is open. God will forgive your wrongdoings and clean your heart. Simply turn to Him. Acts 3.19 Turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, 
that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. As you turn away from your sins and to God, He helps you make wise decisions. He wants the very best for you. God will give you a new heart. Call on Him as Lord. It's not enough just to know about Jesus. You must ask Him to lead your life and be your Lord. Romans 10, 9, 10, and 13, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. If you'd like to ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, just call on Him by praying from your heart a prayer similar to this one. Dear God, I know you have great plans for me, and I want to place my hope in you. I believe you love me and sent Jesus to die on the cross for me. Please forgive me and help me turn from my wrongdoings. I want you to lead my life. Now, if you are ready to pray a similar prayer, please repeat after me aloud. Let's pray. Dear God, I know that you have great plans for me, and I want to place my hope in you. I believe you love me and sent Jesus to die on the cross for me. Please forgive me and help me turn from my wrongdoings. I want you to lead my life. Amen. If you just prayed this prayer and meant it, God says that you are a new person with a new heart. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Welcome to the family of God. Now the next step will encourage and guide you along the journey. Now that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can know that He will help lead you every day and that when you die, you will go to heaven to live with Him forever. 1 John 5.13 encourages us, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. You will also want to share heart talk with others and tell them of your decision to follow Christ. God will be pleased. Join a Bible-believing church and follow Christ's example of baptism. You will be blessed. Pray daily. Prayer is simply talking to God just like we talk to each other. Tell God why you love Him and about the things you need. He will listen. Read your Bible daily. A good place to start is 1 John. Then read the Gospel of John. Ask God to help you understand what you are reading. He will. Well, you are set for one of the greatest adventures of your lifetime. As you look for opportunities to share Christ, Heart Talk will be one more resource in your heart. Remember, make the most of every opportunity.